Hi, today I'm going to show you how to record a song using GarageBand on the iPad. This is going to be a really simple demo with guitar and vocal on the one track. We're not going to use metronome. This isn't going to be a multi-track recording or anything like that. It's going to be something really, really simple. So let's open up GarageBand. Let's go to plus sign here at the top. Let's create a new song. And we're going to go to the audio recorder on GarageBand because we're just going to use the external microphone on the iPad recording guitar and vocal at once. Now you can use a microphone that you plug into the headphone jack which will give you a better quality. However, I'm so close to the iPad physically right now that that's not necessary. I'm just making a rough demo. I am recording this video using a microphone plugged into my iPhone headphone jack because uh, I'm recording this video on my iPhone. Just by the way. So, let's punch audio recorder. Now if you go here, you see this is the track view and we'll see uh, some recording taking place here in just uh, a couple of minutes. Let's adjust a couple of things first. Let's go to the settings. We're going to turn the metronome, the count in, off. The uh, tempo, key, signature, fade out. We're not going to be concerned with any of that just yet on this recording. We do need to change one thing though. Here you see it's got eight measures or eight bars. That's the default section length in GarageBand, but we're going to change that and we're going to click section A and we're going to turn automatic on which means it's not going to default to eight bars it's just going to be however long the um, recording is so okay let's go back here to this view and I'm just going to record guitar and vocal in one take here we go Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. But now I see. Okay, let's go to the track view and see if we like what we recorded. Okay, the vocal is probably a little hot and needs to be reduced in volume and what we could do is is just uh, sing a little softer or play guitar a little louder or something like that but for our purposes here we're just making a rough demo. Let's go back to my songs and we can rename this track. Let's say Amazing Grace because that's what it's called. And we want to export the song, and you can do a bunch of different things with it. So let's edit. We're going to select Amazing Grace. We're going to hit this button right here, and you can share the song with Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud. Let's say we want to email it to ourselves, and you can fill in this information when you email it. And now GarageBand is going to put it into a format where you can email it. And it's going to turn the song into an M4A or an Apple uh, format file rather than a GarageBand file so that uh, anybody can listen to it. And you can type in your email address there and email it to yourself and that's pretty much it. Okay, and that's how you create a really simple recording in GarageBand on the iPad. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.